morning and welcome to 30 Days of Qigong to Better Health. My name is Chris Shelton. Today we're working with day number 10 on the kidney cleansing exercise. The kidneys are such an important organ according to Chinese medicine because they are the foundation for your overall constitution, how long your life will be, how well you fight off disease, etc. And they say that at the time of conception between your parents as well as God and your environment, this predetermines this kidney well. Now the kidneys control so much of the body's functions. It's the foundation of, of yin and yang of the body. And what does that mean? Yin of the body is the basis of all the fluids, uh, sweat, blood, cerebral fluids, digestive fluids, and is cooling in nature. And yang is the motive force which then helps to move blood and fluids around the body and all the physiological changes that occur like, i.e. digestion. So these kidneys, they also manifest in the ears. Um, the kidneys uh, control the ears, they also control the bones and all the major glands in the body, the brain. And so when uh, these kidneys get depleted or get weak, they naturally get weak by age. But there's other things that we could do to, that will further help to exasperate this uh, depletion of this kidney energy. And one is burning the candles at both ends, uh, improper dietary or lifestyle habits. You know, those kinds of things also will contribute to uh, the diminishing of this kidney essence. And the way that I try to compare it to, it's like a battery. So everybody's born with a certain size battery. And as this battery declines, then other parts of the, or other functions of the body start to become weak as well. Hence the reason why as we get older, you see a lot of people with uh, memory loss, uh, degeneration of, the, of, of bones, and as well as uh, d diminishment of hearing. So... With Qigong, one of the things that we try to do is we try to not only um, give practices that help with cleansing the body, and in particular of the negative emotions that are housed in the, these different organs, but then also to help to restore and slow down this aging process. Now, the kidneys are harmed by the negative emotions of fear, fright, and shock. And shock could be anything that you've seen or, or have experienced in your life, or it could be um, surviving... Uh, chemo or a severe uh, flu bug, anything like that, a car accident, those types of things will actually zap the kidney's energy. And depending on how severe the trauma is, then uh, the more of this depletion that will happen in the kidneys itself. So some co common conditions with uh, kidney dysfunctions would be uh, <clears throat> weak bladder, frequent uh, urination. You may also have a ringing of the ears. Vertigo, men in ears disease, those types of things can also be uh, rooted back into the kidneys. So the positive virtue that comes forth as we cleanse the kidneys is the virtue of gentleness, but the spiritual component of willpower. And if your kidney tree, chi is strong, then a the person tends to have much more willpower. If the kidney chi is diminished, then what will happen is the willpower will tend to lack as well. So. Uh, the practice is, is that uh, we're going to have our feet out about shoulders width apart. And once again, even if you're seated, have to do this from a seated position, you can still do the practice. But we're going to place the hand on the right kidney. And then from there, we're going to gaze at the back of the hand. And then what's going to happen is we're going to bend at the waist. Now, if you have a hard time bending, then just by having your hand on the kidney itself, gazing at the hand as you come around will also help to benefit the kidney. But if you want to make this into a bigger stretch, you could actually turn and really bend at the waist, turn, come up, bend at the waist. So inhale as you come up, exhale as you descend. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and work with the left kidney going the opposite direction. And, and then we're going to finish by pulling back the energy, pulling down the heavens three times, and sealing off with the white pearl meditation. So let's begin. So from a seated position, with your feet out about shoulders width apart, hands resting on the knees, or from a standing position, same, same thing, feet out about shoulders width apart, knees slightly bent, hollowing out the armpits, tucking in the chin, pressing up at the crown point, and then tucking the sacrum, pressing back the Ming Men. From here, the breath is long, steady, even, and deep into the lower abdomen, about one, one inch below the navel, also referred to as the lower dantian. And then from there, we're just going to begin by connecting with your higher power three times. Inhale, exhale. Using the legs to pump the energy up or to bring the energy down. So 
inhaling, feel this white light calming the mind, settling your body, staying present, and then here, going into your chi clearing exercises, inhaling, center, exhale as you toss. So as you do this practice, you gaze to the tips of the fingers and imagine any excess of thoughts, feelings, or emotions flowing off, going several feet away from the body and down deep into the ground. Any tension in the shoulders and in the neck, allow for that to flow off the tips of the fingers as well. Now, if you're standing and doing this practice, you want to focus on shifting the weight back and forth, using those legs as a pump, pumping the blood and the energy up to the chest. And then from there, we slow down, going back to the middle and pulling down the heavens again, three times, inhale and exhale. Inhaling, exhale. And again, exhale. And then from there, bring the feet a little bit closer together Relax the knees, relax the shoulders, and begin to lightly bounce. Bouncing on those bubbling well points just behind the balls of the feet, kidney one. And from here, focusing on the ankles and imagine any tension in the ankles, releasing out through the bottom of the feet and flowing down deep into the ground. Next, the knees. Any pain, tension, tightness in the knees, allow for that to release. Flowing out through the bottom of the feet down deep into the earth, hips and groin region, low back, any pain, tension, tightness there, allow for that to release out through the legs, out through the feet and down deep into the ground. And then from there, the center of the back and chest. Any excess of thoughts, emotions, tightness on the spine in between the shoulder blades. Just allow for all that to shake out, guide it out through the body, out through the feet and deep into the ground. Next, the wrists, shaking out any pain, you have carpal tunnel, arthritis, pain in the joints of the wrists or the hands. Allow for that to shake out through the fingertips and deep into the earth. And next, the elbows. Shoulders, head and neck, guiding that all the way out through the arms, out through the fingers, and down deep into the ground. And then from here, we're going to inhale, pulling the breath all the way up through the body beyond the top of the head, and drop. And inhaling up, and release. Pull the golden light up, and releasing down and then from there back into your wuji posture shaking the tree inhaling all the way up the body <sighs> exhaling all the way down inhaling up <sighs> exhaling down inhaling <sighs> and two more inhale <sighs> and last one inhaling <sighs> And then from there, pulling back the heavens three times, gather, releasing out any heat or vibration, inhaling, and exhale. Gather, and release. 
And then from there, with your eyes closed, still tucking the chin, pressing up on the crown point, begin to melt down through the front of the body, starting at the top of the head. And imagine as though warm oil begins to flow down through the front of the forehead, enveloping the temples, the brow bone, eyebrows, and eyes. The nose, cheeks, lips, ears, chin and jaw structure, touching everything as it flows down into the throat and neck and upper chest and shoulders, biceps, elbow creases, forearms, wrists, feel the palms of the hands leading all the way out to the fingertips. And then from there, enveloping the entire chest. Wrap it around to the flanks of the body underneath the armpits, through the midsection, through the abdomen, through the waist, through the groin, through the thighs, the knees, the shins, ankles, feet and toes, and allow for this warm oil to flow down deep into the ground. And from there, feel the entire front of your body from head to toe, being conscious of what's in front of you. Also feel to the left and to the right sides of you. Being aware of your body. And then from there, starting at the top of the head, begin to melt down through the crown point, or from the crown point through the scalp, the back of the head, the back of the ears, the neck, the shoulders, the triceps, relaxing everything through the elbows, through the back of the forearms, through the wrists, back of the hands, leading all the way out to the fingertips. And from there, enveloping the entire shoulders and upper back, mid back, low back, waist, buttocks, flowing through the hamstrings and the back of the knees, the calves, the ankles, the heels, the feet and toes, all connecting, all flowing off deep into the ground. And now feel what's behind you. Feel the entire back from head to toe. And now melting down through the center of the body, imagine white light or your connection with your higher source, your higher power, flows down through the center. You feel and visualize the brain the surrounding tissues, the skull, the cheeks, behind the eyes, inch by inch and cell by cell, tissue by tissue. You feel the nerves that connect to the center of the brain from the eyes. You feel the sinuses, all the capillaries and blood vessels of the face, the inner ear, the jaw, the teeth, the tongue, all the glands, it melts down through each of the vertebrae from the base of the skull all the way down through the center of the neck and throat. You visualize and feel the arteries of the neck, the muscles branching off into the shoulders, the upper chest, upper back. Now melting down through the center of the bicep, triceps, through the bones, the muscles, and into the elbows. You now visualize and feel the center of the forearms leading all the way out to the, all the small bones and tendons of the wrists, hands, and fingers. This white light continues to travel down, now touching each rib. Feel the ribs as they flow from the sternum around to the spine on the back. You visualize and feel the heart, the lungs, the liver and gallbladder, the stomach and spleen, the intestines, the urinary bladder, the kidneys, the pelvic bone, the sacrum, the bladder, flowing through the femurs, the bones of the legs, the muscles surrounding them, the center of the knees, the center of the shins and calves, the ankles, feet and toes, and allow for this white light to flow down deep into the ground. And from there, you can just imagine your feet melting down into the earth, you can imagine now the roots grow out from the bottom of the feet all the way down to the center core of the earth. And as you inhale, you imagine this golden light coming up the roots 
up the legs into the abdomen as you inhale, then as you exhale, flowing back down out the legs, out the roots, and deep into the ground. Inhaling and exhaling. And if you want to combine practices, the massaging the yang organs, then as the arms come up, the golden light comes up into the abdomen. As the arms fall, then any dark, heavy energy flows back down, out the legs, out the roots, and down deep into the ground. As the hands come up, golden light comes and massages and cleanses the stomach and bladder, gallbladder, intestines. Feeling the golden light come up, feel any toxicity flow back down out the legs, out the roots, and deep into the ground. They say that heaven is creative, earth is receptive, so it receives and recycles this toxicity, bringing back balance. And then from there, on the next inhalation, we'll allow for now the energy to flow straight up the spine, up over the top of the head, down the front of the face, the chest, the abdomen, flowing through the sacrum, and then like a pump, racing up the spine, up over the top of the head, down the front of the face, the chest, the abdomen, flowing through the microcosmic orbit, small heaven breathing meditation. You could use your hands to guide the chi, flowing up the sacrum, stimulating the central nervous system as it comes up the spine, up over the top of the head, down the front of the face, the chest, the abdomen. Keeping the breath long, steady, even, and deep. Now you at this stage, you may start to notice with the microcosmic orbit meditation that the flow of energy moves quicker than the breath, and that's normal. So at first, when I first started learning the microcosmic orbit, we <clears throat> coordinate the breath with the flow of chi, with the creative visualization, but over time, you may notice as you start to feel this energy movement, they normally say though it takes about 90 days, 90 to 100 days, to open up these two vessels, acupuncture channels. But then after that, you may notice that the breath will not keep up. But just using the mind intent, going straight up the spine, up over the top of the head, down the front of the face, the chest, the abdomen, and then like a pump coming up and flowing down. So keeping the mind intent guiding the energy up the spine, up over the top of the head, down the midline, through the front of the face, the chest, the abdomen, and through the perineum, the acupuncture point between the sex glands, and the anus, and then I guess, pump, shooting up the spine again, going down the front of the face, the chest, the abdomen. And one more circulation, allowing for that energy to flow down, and inhale, pulling down the heavens three times, and, and exhale, inhaling, and exhale. And then from there, going directly into the kidney cleansing exercise, so placing the left hand on the right kidney. So if you're at home watching, it'll be the opposite It'll will be, if you want to mirror me, then it'll actually be your right hand on your left kidney. But from here, we're going to flow and scoop. Inhale. So again, clearing out the negative emotions of 
fear, fright, shock, bringing forth the positive virtue of gentleness, as well as willpower. your eyes are closed, you can imagine pulling up water from the earth up into the kidney. As you exhale and you drop down, then imagine any toxicity from the kidneys leaves out deep into the ground. So turning around, this is what it looks like from the back side here. So the kidneys are also harmed by cold, so the winter months is when the kidneys are most prone to disease. And then we come up, do one more, and switch. Now the left kidney. So in Chinese medicine, the left side of the body is your yang side of the body, right side of the body is yin, but the left kidney is yin and the right kidney is yang. Not the fear. Feeling the warmth flow into the kidneys. Imagine a blue cloud because the color blue or black is associated with the kidneys. Filling up into the kidneys. Kidneys are the one organ in Chinese medicine that are, that are never normally in excess. They normally are always deficient as we tend to burn this battery. So the bladder could definitely have excess patterns and then from here I come back up and then we collect energy back three times inhale exhaling flowing down inhale exhale and inhale Settling the energy. And then from there, placing the hands over the lower Dantian, about one inch below the navel. Imagine a white mystical pearl forming underneath the hands as you gather this energy. Feel this white pearl expand. As you inhale, then as you exhale, you feel this warmth and this light from this white pearl release and restore the vitality of the kidneys on the low back. With each inhalation, you feel the white pearl get thicker and brighter, and with each exhalation, you imagine 
it restoring the vitality of the kidneys on the back. Feel the warmth wrap around the belt vessel, the belt meridian, wrap it around the waist into the kidneys. And then from there, coming back to the present, finishing off by pulling down the heavens three times. Inhale, exhale, inhale and gather, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Feeling completely rejuvenated, refreshed, ready to start your day. And from there, just kind of get out of the Wuji posture a little bit, shake it off. Ah. My name is Chris Shelton. Thank you once again for joining me. Day number 10, the kidney cleansing exercise for the 30 days of Qigong to better health. I have a saying that Qigong is a simple practice with profound results.